Hey everyone! What's going on? Happy 4th of July, and welcome back to the Basics of Betaflight. We're almost ready to flash firmware, but I think there's one more thing we should go over, and that's how to back up the configuration in your flight controller. Let's get started. I think that backing up your flight controller, especially initially, as soon as you get it, right out of the box, you should take a backup of the configuration. And the reason is, is remember last time when we talked about flight controller targets? Well, different flight controllers can use different targets. And sometimes the manufacturer will have a custom configuration preset in the flight controller when they send it out to you. Well, if you just go ahead and flash beta flight to that board, you're going to erase the configuration and then you're not going to know your starting point for your flight controller. So before I flash any firmware on a new board, I always take a dump and back up the configuration. If I've been flying a craft for a while and I haven't done a backup and I'm ready to update it, I'm going to back up that configuration just so I have a good starting point and it'll make it easier to set the aircraft up in the future. That's enough explanation. Let's take a look at the computer. Just like we've done a hundred times in the past, go ahead and get your board connected up to Betaflight. Once your board has successfully connected, you should be greeted with your setup page. We should be rather familiar with this now, uh, but let's go and jump straight to the CLI. There are two different commands that we can use in order to back up our configuration. The first one I'm going to show you is called diff, D-I-F-F. -F. And if you type that in and hit enter, you're going to see we have all kinds of values here. What the diff is, is these are all the settings that have been changed from the factory defaults in the configuration. So after I flashed this board, I made a few quick changes just to show you that there will be a difference in value here, I guess. Actually, just so you can see the output. And everything in here is gonna show me all my features that I've changed and I've set up inside Betaflight. And as time goes on, we're gonna go into much more of what all this means, especially when it comes time to put this configuration back. But for right now, this is what I really wanna show you, is the diff command. This is the short backup. This is only going to present you with things that you have changed inside the configurator. Personally, myself, I usually go with the differential command, D-I-F-F. -F. That makes it much easier to find the settings within that dump that I'm looking for. And again, you'll see what I mean further down the road. If you're unsure and you want to save everything, there's another command that we can use. And that one is just as easy as the first one. Same as before, get all connected up to Betaflight and jump into your CLI. Now I'm going to type in dump, D-U-M-P, and hit enter. And now you're going to see that I have quite a lot of information in front of me. This is all the settings and configuration inside of this flight controller, whether the values have been changed or not. And a good example is here's all the resources. Maybe you've heard Joshua Bardwell talk about resource remapping, maybe not. But well, we know that we haven't changed any of the resources, but still everything's in here. Everything is gonna be shown as far as the configuration uh, of your flight controller of that beta flight install. So everything's gonna be in here. Sometimes this can be overwhelming. Um, really kind of, why I use the diff command sometimes. You don't always need all of this. Okay, at any such rate, we have input our command into the CLI tab, whether it's a diff or dump, whatever our preferred method is. And now I wanna save this somehow. We need to save this to a file uh, so we can use it later on. And again, that's pretty easy. All I have to do right here on the bottom right of the Betaflight configurator is click on save to file. And then now it's gonna give me an option to save everything that is currently within my CLI tab. You'll see it names it. What's neat is it's gonna tell you that it's Betaflight CLI. It's gonna give you the name of the aircraft. In this case, I just called it demo because it doesn't need anything special. Uh, and it's also going to give you a date and timestamp 
as to when that was exported. This is all very helpful. You don't really need to change this. You can if you want. Personally, I like to leave the default naming convention in here because everything kind of falls into place as time goes on. You can see I have some of my other craft saved in the same file. Hornet, Drogon, Raven, Junkyard, they're all here. Every time I make a change or an update, a major update anyway, I'll usually save the dump to a text file. Anyway, we're on the save page here. Everything looks fine. I'm in my beta flights dump folder that I've created. I know this is where I want everything to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. With that file saved, I now have it open inside Notepad, and you can see that the output is the same as to what we were looking at inside the CLI. If we're looking for a reference on LEDs, it's here. Uh, if we're looking for auxiliary settings like flight modes, it's in here. All your gyro settings are in here. All your features are in here. I mean, literally, this is everything. So save this file, and this is gonna be your reference on how your flight controller was configured. So that's it, guys. Super, super easy to back up your beta flight configuration. Use either one of two commands inside the CLI. You're either gonna use diff or dump, depending on the output you're looking for. Save that output to a file, and there you go. You've just successfully backed up your flight controller. If you guys found this video series helpful, maybe I can convince you to click on that subscribe button, ring the bell, and maybe hit the like while you're at it. After that, mosey on over to hotdogfpv.com and pick yourself up some awesome FPV swag. But that's it. That's all I got for today. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.